Welcome to the CPU Galaxy channel and today I want to introduce you to a series of videos which will come up regularly on my channel from now on. And so far I can tell you, for a CPU or chip collector, it will be very helpful. So don't forget to subscribe below that you will not miss any of those videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I got already many emails where other collectors asked me to rate a CPU in terms of rarity, value or if it is somehow special. Well, since I'm collecting chips and CPUs for more than 20 years now and owned a huge collection already, I want to share my knowledge and experience with you here on my channel. So I was creating a chip rating matrix and I will rate a lot of different CPUs and chips based on my personal experience. I'm sure some of you might not agree on certain chip ratings due to maybe personal emotions to the CPU or the first computer you bought, but I will try to be as objective as possible. And this CPU Galaxy chip rating or short CGCR rating should give you an orientation how collectible a CPU or a chip is. Uh, it can help you if you want to trade something, if you want to buy from someone or if you want to sell a CPU. The CGCR rating can also help you to estimate how difficult it will be to find a certain CPU you are searching for. So let me explain you now how I set up this rating. I choose five areas to rate the chips from zero to five points. Historical, technical, rarity, value and look and additionally two possible extra points. So what is influencing on the historical value? For instance, if the CPU or chip was used in a very important or well-known device, like the 6502 CPU in the Apple I computer, or a CPU which was a huge milestone and wrote history in its functionality or it was the first of its kind. Also CPUs or parts which were very successful on the market or had a strong influence on how we were using a computer or device. All these I cover at the historical rating. The technical rating is influenced by technical specifications like big milestones which change the concept of future products in terms of functionality, design or development processes. Also small technical changes or functionalities which caused a huge improvement will be covered here. Yeah, rarity is clear. How hard is it for you to find such a CPU or chip somewhere on the market or in the collection? Some things you can find easy and some are almost impossible to find. The value of a CPU is influenced by demand and availability as well as historical and technical values. So I defined here a wide range at each point because condition will be also defining the value at the end. For each chip rating video I will estimate the value always for a part in good condition based on my experience and observing the market and communities since years. I consider fair eBay prices as well as values which get paid or traded in collectors communities. Some sellers on eBay are asking sometimes for way too high prices, but you can be also lucky to grab a bar chain on some trading platforms because the seller did not know about its value. Yeah, the look of a CPU is the very if not most important part for a collector. I don't know any collector who prefer to display or look at a plastic dual inline package instead of a white ceramic chip with gold caps or an IBM MCM. So with the look, I will rate the CPU in terms of package design, materials and size. Last are two possible extra points. Here I want to cover some uncertainties or special specifications like an engineering sample or so. At the end all points are getting added and we will have then the CPU Galaxy chip rating or CGCR, which defines the CPU how collectible it is with following ratings. Not really collectible, nice to have, cool stuff, very collectible, king class and elite. So this rating should not destroy any personal bond you have to parts in your collection. I have many chips which are not collectible or nice to have in this rating, but personally for me they are a treasure. So again, this rating is an emotional free rating based on my personal experience. And please don't feel offended if a chip here will get a not really collectible rating and you think it's your treasure. It should remain always your special chip. 
In the description of each rating video, you can find a link to a spreadsheet where you can see all ratings of CPUs and chips I uploaded so far. Inside the spreadsheet, you can find at each device also the link to the YouTube video of it. I hope you will enjoy all the nice chips you will see in future here and maybe you will find out what kind of treasures you might have in your own collection you did not even know about. Tomorrow the first rating video will go online, so stay tuned and I'm looking very much forward to read your comments and opinions about each individual CPU. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.